Assalamualaikum, uh, good morning ladies, ladies and gentlemen uh, So today I will talk about industry uh, perspective for industrial revolution for, for, uh, for food industries basically from a Sainabi perspective Okay, let, uh, let me start with uh, what is palm oil I think just now, uh, this morning, you already uh, heard about uh, palm oil from Dr. Roslan But uh, let me refresh you a little bit on uh, palm oil with 3 minutes uh, video presentation Then uh, on oil pump listed 4.0, pump oil mill 4.0, refinery, marketing, and uh, sandalwood plantation towards 4.0. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, sandalwood plantation. We are uh, more than 100 years old company. 
So we started uh, in 1960, uh, in 1890 with rubber plantations. In 1960, uh, we start our power development. And uh, 2007, three company, Gantry, Golden Home and Sunabi merged, become uh, the biggest uh, plantation company in the world. But uh, last year, January 2018, uh, we become pure play, meaning that we have uh, demerge again, uh, become some Dabi Berhad, Sandabi Plantation Berhad, and Sandabi Properties. So this all three company is a public listed company. So this is the overview of uh, Sandabi Plantation. We have upstream, downstream, R&D, and renewables. So under upstream, uh, we have seed uh, production, we produce our uh, seed, we have our nursery, uh, estate management, we have the oil mills, we have the pump for downstream, we have the pump and refinery. So we produce uh, specialty fats, uh, we also produce non food for oleo chemicals, biodiesel. From the food uh, uh, segment, we produce palm oil product, cooking oil, uh, specialty oil and fats. Refine the uh, pump kernel, spread shortening, infant formula, dairy fat replacer. So we also have uh, rubber and sugar cane uh, cattle production. So uh, we also, from the waste, we produce uh, uh, byproduct uh, and uh, waste to help to weld, uh, compost. Uh, we produce biogas, animal feeds. From the PFAD, we produce tocotrienols and also biodiesel. So basically, we are fully integrated operations across the palm oil value chains, start from seed production until uh, customer. So we we have R and D, uh, sustainability and quality management, uh, key enablers in our value chain. So this is our upstream uh, portfolio. We have one million hectares of land bank. So we have uh, six hundred thirty-one thousand hectares of planted area. Ninety-six percent on palm. 4% rubber and sugar cane. Uh, we have 250 estate, 71 mills. So we produce in uh, in terms of quantity crop palm oil about 2.5 million uh, metric ton a year. For palm kernel is 0.6 million ton. So this is uh, where our estate in Malaysia we have 345,000 in Malaysia 284,000 Liberia. 220 in Papua New Guinea we have 130,000 and Solomon Island is about 8,000. So this is our downstream activity. We have 11 refineries, 11 crushing plants. So in terms of capacity, we produce about 3.8 million uh, refining, uh, crushing uh, 0.7 million biodiesel capacity. 0.06 million, oil chemical is about 0.7 million. So this is our uh, market, uh, mainly China, India, and Europe, Indonesia, Malaysia, and others, Philippines, also Pakistan. So this is our main customer. So we have KFC, I think McDonald's also there, Unilever, so basically, our company is certified to the strict requirement of the international certification standard. For example, like HACCP, ISO, OSHAS, FSSC, and DAP. So basically, for Industry 4.0, I think you by now you already know that uh, Industry 4.0 so started from Industry 1.0 in 1784. Start with uh, steam and water power. Then industry 2.0 in 1870 uh, start with uh, mass productions. Industry 3.0 is about automation. It's already using PLC, IT system, robotic. And now we are industry 4.0 is uh, about smart uh, factory or smart uh, refining. So basically, in order to achieve a 4.0, we need all these facilities to be integrated.
Okay, we start with oil pump uh, estate 4.0. So as, as I mentioned just now, we are very big. We have 1 million hectares. Uh, so the, this is the example of the uh, activities in the estate. FAB as harvesting, quality of FAB, fertilizer spraying, uh, loose flow collection. So we have more than 90,000 estate employees. So it's very leverage industry. So this is some of the mechanization in the estate. So basically, uh, oil pump is very uh, intensive uh, in, in labor and also uh, uh, monitoring is uh, one of the main concerns and also high uh, production costs. Field monitoring is one of the issue, so we cannot uh, do like this. We cannot monitor instead using uh, binocular. So we need this uh, basically sensors in the estate. So basically, this sensor possible to monitor the healthy of palm trees. So we can monitor the soil moisture, the soil pH, and uh, salinity. So we can also uh, determine the fertilizer requirements by uh, snapping photos. So with these uh, online sensors and instead of uh, in the operation, as the operation, so big data, we can use big data and machine learning, integrated uh, granular data, can provide information for making decisions. Okay? So we can uh, pro uh, predict uh, harvest, we can uh, predict uh, the CPO production, we can uh, predict the market price, and we can predict when uh, the best time for the planting. So this is the element that we need in the estate. Uh, GPS uh, tracking for estate moving uh, machinery, efficient fertilizer delivery, efficient water distribution. So this is um, some of the mechanization we already uh, implemented in the estate. We can reduce about 30 to 40 percent manpower. So with the uh, remote sensing using drone technology, so I think uh, using uh, camera or a mapping image, we now we can map a very large area in very short times. So this is the example of the image from the drone. So last time it's very difficult to get this uh, picture. So we need to use helicopter or what. So now with drone technology, we can uh, see or using uh, the image, we can see the healthy of the uh, palm trees. So that is the uh, power mill.